How do you even start a new season? Do we open with a cinematic shot? The sun rising, and then we write a dramatic script where we talk about the past, we talk about the future, we touch on burnout, that's a thing. We maybe talk about the two months I went missing, maybe we don't do that. Maybe we talk about the plans for the channel, my intentions for the future, and the rebrand, and what we're gonna do with that. Do we talk about all the noise and the cars and the things that drive by my house? Do we maybe touch on Tinkfro's horse that's just standing down there? Where did he go? He was here just now. Do we talk about the resident? Do we talk about the residential area that's behind me, or maybe the commercial area that's gonna go on that side? Do we talk about how I'm constantly stuttering and having to re-record this segment because my face glitches? Or, and hear me out here. Do we hit the ground running? We can maybe start by collecting some food from the community farm. Then, maybe, just maybe, we can punch a tree. Or, or we can just look at what other people are starting. I will probably need to get some wooden tools and then maybe some stone tools. Ooh, you know what we could do? We could go mining. Or, or, instead, maybe we should beg this is doom for a mangrove sapling thingy. Whatever that's called. What we could do then is harvest a mangrove tree. Those trees grow weirdly. That is such a chore to harvest. No, no. You know what we could do? We could start by going to the nether. We can search for blackstone. Maybe we're lucky and we can find a cinnamon bun. Ooh, but what if we need someone's help to collect it? That's no good. I don't know, KB. That's not how YouTubers do it. Hmm. Wait. I know exactly what to do. We will build something that no one else will dare start the season with. Something so dark and sinister that you won't even believe it. We're gonna begin with the end. Not the dimension, but the inevitable. First thing we need is an all-consuming entity that spreads like a disease and takes over all the land around it. Then we need a barrier to contain all the unfortunate souls. Well, most of them. But let me not get ahead of myself. And finally, we need a chamber to contain a being so vile and disturbing. And there it is, the inevitable. A depot of death, a depository of decay, a repository of demise, a container of necrosis, a portal to the afterlife, oblivion, expiration, extermination, silence. I'm sorry, I almost lost myself there for a second. <sighs> Deep breath, calm down. And there we have it. My humble starter home. I would show you some of the other humble starter homes, but I'm not sure what can be spoiled and what can't be spoiled yet, so let's look away for now. Oh, Mr. Puffingfish. Oh, so, uh, what, what might you want? Uh, I might want you to press the record button. So, uh, what might you want? I might want you to press the record button. I already have KB. Then, uh, then that's uh, payment enough. This guy, <laughs> I just tricked him. I'm not actually recording. What? Should I use my crossbow that I just stole <laughs> from this random dude that passed me by? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I, I recorded. I recorded. You can do trust you, me, okay? Do you have an arrow I can borrow though? Uh, I won't be able to oh, threaten yeah, you. I can't threaten you without arrows. Uh, let's see. Do I have any arrows? I, do I have any arrows? I actually don't have any arrows. I, <sighs> I used all my arrows on skeleton. <laughs> oh, here, wow. Here, 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 here. KB, here. There you go. I have one of those. There. Oh. Now, now, now it's your loss that you did not press the record button. Yeah. I already... <laughs> don't worry, KB. I'm always recording. Even that other conversation we had the other day. Yeah. Um. I'm, so, I'm sorry, sir. I'll just be 
walking away then. <laughs> do, do you like my, uh, my, my helmet though? Can I go home now? What is that? It's a puffing frog. It's a puffing frog. <laughs> Here you go. That is a disturbing face. I know. I feel like you would like it. You're, you're into all that, you know, creepy stuff. Why is this frog's head warm? Well, I was just wearing it. It's literally called a warm frog is a head. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, probably because like, it was a frog in a savanna. Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna get, go head back to my emo corner. I will uh, do business with you again. Wait, did I get anything? Oh, I got this frog head. Okay, cool. I'm happy. See ya. <laughs> Our starter mausoleum is almost complete. It does need some decorative details, but we'll get help on that at some point. As for the interiors, we're gonna have a staircase that leads to the entrance part, which will lead you into the mausoleum area itself, which will look like it's been converted into a storage room, and that's the idea I'm going for. We're going to use mangrove planks as the floors because it has a bit of a bloody feel to it. I really like that. And it goes well with the blackstone colors and textures. Now, which you'll see once this room is complete. There it is, our simple starter storage. A perfect introduction to our theme this season, which is all about nightmare art. And if you're into things like that, the creepy and the strange, you're welcome to stick around. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas on builds we can do that are creepy or weird and strange that you'd like to see included in this nightmare art. But if you're not into the creepy stuff, you're welcome to check out the other members, they will be linked in the description. They probably won't do the creepy and the strange and the weird like I will. <laughs>